Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to you for guiding us every step of the way when we submit ourselves to you. And today, Lord, we come before you again, knowing that you know what is best for our lives and that you want to teach us by your Holy Spirit your truths from the Word of God. And I pray today that as we study the book of Esther, Again, that you will open our minds, our hearts, our ears, and our eyes to those things that you want us to know about you and your son Jesus and your ways. And we'll give you thanks for doing so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Haman's Plan Underway. And it's taken from the book of Esther, chapter 3, and verse 12. Haman has been granted permission to exterminate the Jews. He would finally have his revenge upon rebellious Mordecai, whom he would not only repay personally for his insubordination, but also his entire people. With the king's ring of approval in his hand, in chapter 3 and verse 12 of the book of Esther, Haman begins to put his plan into action. We read, Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants, and to the governors that were over every province, and to the rulers of every people of every province, according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language, in the name of King Ahasuerus, was it written, and sealed with the king's ring. Our verse begins, Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month. Let us be reminded that according to the Persian way of government, the king did not have absolute power and authority. If a law was written, it could not be altered even by the king himself. So Haman's first action on the 13th day of the first month, after receiving permission from King Ahasuerus to remove all the Jews, was to call for the king's scribes. These men would be responsible for putting the law of extermination into writing, and then it could not be changed by anyone. The verse goes on to say, And there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants, and to the governors that were over every province, and to the rulers of every, of every people of every province according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language. Let us notice how thorough Haman was in his plan. He had the scribes to write to the king's lieutenants, governors, rulers, and every people who were in the Persian Empire. He excluded not one group, even if they spoke different languages. He also had the scribes write all that Haman had commanded. There wasn't one detail left out of Haman's plot. Can we imagine how desperate for revenge Haman was? Finally, the verse reads, In the name of King Ahasuerus was it written, and sealed with the king's ring. Haman was certain to have the writing sealed with the king's name and ring which denoted King Ahasuerus' approval of the declaration. Haman was without exception detailed and meticulous in his plan. He left no stone uncovered as he desired the complete elimination of the Jews. We may note that Haman is a type of Satan in our lives. He plots against us, desires to have us eliminated, and is thorough in his plan. When we read the book of Job, we get an idea of how Satan plotted against Job to destroy him. And even though he seemed to make strides, Job remained faithful. What if Satan is plotting against us right now? Have we given him a reason to exterminate us, such as building the kingdom of God? Perhaps as we meditate upon this verse today, we may realize the importance of continuing in our relationship with the Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, so that when the plans are made against us, we will not fall. May the Lord keep us by his mighty power. Next time, we will see how Haman's plot was to be conducted on a specific day. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. 
And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.